Hello guys, today I want to show you how to set up an Nyrand app which is a very good app for cloning other apps thereby preventing you from being banned from service. So in setting up of Nyrand app, just go to Play Store here, then you search the word Nyrand app, so just click install. It's a very small app to take rest of your space. So once installed, eh, just open. You read through the agreement. It is a sandbox environment to clone apps. Uh, to clone apps. It's an idle environment. Is a sandbox environment to clone selected apps and isolate them from accessing your personal data outside, including core logs, contacts, and etc. And even permissions are, and even uh, even if permissions are granted. So when, once you install this app, there is no way you can be blocked depending on your location and the personal data. So clone apps learn this one here. Cloned apps are parallel aside from the installed one with its separate copy of app data. It can also be frozen on demand with the launcher icon vanished and its background behaviors completely blocked. So very very nice. So another thing here, by creating the sandbox environment, you authorize it to act as a device devices of Android for work. So you realize that when you, see, when you start using Island, it will create a folder called work, whereby all your apps there are Google proxy apps will be treated with the privilege to manage the sandbox environment. I don't never collect data related to your privacy so you can read their privacy on the Google. So let's get to it. So once you read that, just click next, accept. You accept everything. So now it's the normal installation. So you can see now it's setting up the profile. Now the first step to do what? the first step to do once you install the app mm -hmm. is to set up your personal profile. So just click next. This is the most important part. So you accept and continue. So here you realize that there is two types of uh, environments main range there is main range this is your actual your actual phone android phone non cloned one eh? this way you get all your all apps that you're using currently using then you have the island this is now our workstation everything that we shall be needed to work on shall be appearing here so once you start the app by default to be uh, by default it has already cloned our chrome which can use in our free cache downloads have been cloned files have been cloned google play store has been cloned and security so you can ask yourself how do you add other apps like uh, how do you add other apps that you want to use so in case you want to add another app like atapol survey junkie you do it through the Google Play Store. Just come here. Just click here. Just click here. Google Play Store. And remember, these are the main apps. Main, the main Nerd app. This is where the main apps are. My normal apps. But Island, this is where I'll keep all the apps that I want to be working on on surveys and everything. So, the only way the only way you can add apps on island is through google play store so just click google play store the reason you're seeing google play store files downloads and chrome they are installed on island by default because they have the basic things needed to operate on the island so let's add our first app just click google play store so you have to sign into an, an account here 
so this we are signing into my google chrome so mm -hmm. let me let me hide my email let me pause and hide my email so just right now the email address which you are going to use that then go to password let me pause here so as i was saying after now logging into your google to your google play store you can now install apps on your island on your island i go back so remember let me get uh, do a recap mainland it's where you have your main apps on your devices, your mobile, your Android device. Island is where now you have your working apps, the one where you want to scroll so that you can hide your tracking and identity to avoid a lot of ban. So to add apps on Island, you do it through the Google Play Store. So you press here. If you go to Google Play Store, you'll be directed area to log in into your account the way we did it here so once you do that you can add an app like survey junkie install you can add uh, for example at a poll which bans use of uh, android devices on their surveys you can run you can come here and install your your at a poll like this you have installed survey junkie it's clearing up then at a poll you remember that people using Android have a problem in Atapol whereby they are getting banned in terms of doing some pre surveys. So every time you, you click a some pre surveys, it creates a link showing you that you cannot access the survey. But if you are going to use the Island app and install it on the Atapol on the Island section of the app, you are good to go. You can do any service there without no problem. You see, I have installed. So remember, we have to use a proxy. There are various types of proxies to use. So I want us to install uh, Kitsune B. It's my favorite. But you can use any anything, any any one that works for you. So after install, let me show you where the apps are now. Now go to the island now. You see, I have uh, Kitsune B here, here on my mainland, and also I have. Kitsunebi on on my island. So if I want to run Kitsunebi now under uh, my home screen, all the apps which I've installed appear under work. They are very very well classified. They are under my, my profile of work. So and they have a rocks sign showing you that they are different. Also you can see the settings of Ireland here. Ireland settings. This is the original, this is the current version. So Let's now set up our Kitsunebi so it can start work. So like Atapol, just come here, Kitsunebi, set it normally. So you know the normal setup procedure, just click socks, 183. There are so many proxy apps, so you just use the one you want. So, that. mine doesn't have a username and password, but in case yours has, just come here, write username and password, then click save. Then you can check the status of the. You can click here to refresh. You see whether your IP is active. Mine is very very active, so just click connect. Then you allow the VPN connection on your island. So from here now, I'm well connected. Or oh, just click, yeah, you run. You click the play button here so that it can show the VPN connection. So that way, I'm well connected. So you can go to now to. Remember, you have two types of Google Chrome. Uh, Google Chrome, eh? we have the one on 
the one on island and the one on the normal phone so we just go to the one on the you have added on the island remember all the stuff on the island no, no, like, all the stuff you have added on island they have a, a rock sign so you go here vpn connection on the island so we just write who dot you who dot net so these are very very good app to avoid being banned especially on f people who work on free cash this is the trick for avoiding being banned on on uh, free cash and remember <coughs> when creating multiple accounts use one ip per one account even if you're going to use mm. island app and create multiple accounts under one ip you're going to be banned so that's very very important to know many people use island they create multiple accounts on one ip so when they are being cash when they are going to cash out the cashout is rejected because of detection of multiple accounts so let's refresh here okay it's low You can see my island is now connected i'm well 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 connected you can improve uh, your disk case level by setting up the time corresponding to your location but 90 percent is also a good uh, a good disguise so you can see my location is uh, ohio corombas on t-mobile yeah see very well connected now i'm ready to start work so for example now if you want to start on free cash so if you set up your, your device this way using island you add your the apps you want to work on the if you want to work on apps like catapol survey junkie just add them the way i've done if you want to work on free cash you just clone the the google chrome but Luckily enough, the Chrome is is cloned by default. Immediately you install the Island app. So just come here, right? Free cash. Free cash, and you can easily access the site. In the next video, I'll show you how to do how to create a free cash profile, how to create a very good uh, free cash profile from start to finish. But for now, I just wanted you to, to show you how to set up Island app. On your device you see now now you can work on service on free cash without getting banned so this video was just to show you how to set up island app on your android device which helps you to avoid being banned when you're doing service another thing eh? uh, when you're creating you're operating your account on island app which is a very good clean app which prevents you from getting banned the following parameters you should make sure they are the same as the, the ones on my screen so let's go to the to the island app the main app here just click settings here scope settings and settings make sure island watcher and app watcher are enabled like this in case you want to delete your account permanently just come here click there if you want to repair an issue with your system just click here so those are and also make sure you have enabled here and here and also you can read here again whereby they insist that they don't share your personal data such that no one can block you when you're working using the island app so basically that's it about uh, how to set up island app it's a very good app and it's a very good alternative to anti-detect browser but it goes a step further in hiding your details and so many other details which uh, which other people who track your online activity can use to ban your account so thank you for watching keep it locked to the next video guys thank